When looking to change the treadle on a Dock 200 or to service certain internal components, set the trap for the safety, maintaining grip, placing jigs on Jigs set in place against the springs through the holes in the bottom. You can now take the safety off. Placing the kill bar approximately halfway, there's no more spring pressure. So, if you um, basically just detach the springs by using the jigs, mm. okay. It's, it's taken the uh, spring pressure, yeah. The next step is to remove the central pin. Start it with the hammer and this should easily be pushed out with your screwdriver. We head screwdriver allowing me to remove all components of the trap. In front of the square head screwdriver we have the treadle spring. Correct. And then you have a pin. Correct. That hole that normally goes through that holds all the other parts together, really. That's correct. Yep, and then you've got one of the uh, tension springs. Correct. And then the treadle. Correct. Another tension spring, and the frame of the trap, the frame, and the kill bar, which and the, the trigger. The actual kill bar also is removed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's also removed. Okay. This is an example of a stainless treadle, obviously, but um, more prevalent we are looking to replace a zinc passivated. Treadle. What type of, oh okay, so normally you wouldn't need to replace a stainless steel treadle. Unlikely. Okay, what if it was deformed? Does uh, that happen often? Uh, not that we've seen, no. Okay, yeah. so normally it's just that the zinc passivated treadle has become corroded because That's of correct. mustard it's melting. Absolutely, it's, it's a historic issue that should hopefully reduce over time. Okay. After removing the old treadle, I will take my new one, place it in the centre, ensuring that my kill bar is up the right way. How do you tell? By way of the handle. Handle comes up. Faces upwards. Lining the holes, taking my pin. You can do this from either side of the trap, whichever way you feel most comfortable feeding each section through individually. So from this side I will place the left hand spring with the jig. Feed the pin into the frame, so it mm. is through the frame. This take, take my treadle spring, the body of the spring downwards, this long part of the spring towards the, the front of the trap, slide it up, in pressure into the spring itself. We'll now go through the middle of that spring and hold it in place. Other side of the neck of the treadle, replace my last spring, in this case the right hand side. Feed the pin through that. Tapping with the hammer. Not, not aligned correctly yet. Now everything is replaced correctly, waiting for me to remove the jigs. Relift the kill bar. Safety on. Out, they, they sit in a position which is locked through the circle at the bottom. Mm -hmm. The front hooks on to the... Oh, there's a hook main hook so yeah. to, to release it you have to push the jig forward and back out around okay so that's positioning the arm of the spring so it's now touching the uh kill bar, kill bar. That's right great. so back to the position that it needs to be to actually work as a trap so right now that kill bar is under tension absolutely okay and then reversing it 
in a way that is safe.